Hi, so today I'm joined with Azra, and we'll be talking about the best indexing tools to try to get the URLs indexed fast in Google search. Yeah, so there's obviously a variety of different ways to do this. Some are free. Uh, if, if you've got owner access to your actual website, you can obviously go over to Google Search Console and submit it in there. There's also some paid tools as well. And the paid tools we probably use more so for like backlinks and, and mentions that are mentioned in our website. Yeah, so I mean, for me, the best free indexing tools are ones that I've invested heavily into. Um, I wouldn't have invested into them unless I didn't think there was the best. So at number one, I've got Indexceptional. At number two, I've got Backlink Indexing Tool. And number three, I've got Giga Indexer. So what these do slightly different from places like Amiga Indexer and Index Mino, Speed Speedy Index, like the Telegram bot, Speed Links, Indexification and stuff like that, is that it's submitting not only Google bots come and crawl it, it's submitting Bing bots come and crawl, which I think is important for chat GPT, but also it's doing it via multiple different methods. So not only is it pinging Google bot, it's doing it via the job listing kind of systems and also by the Google news systems, which means that it, it's a lot faster for Google bots come and crawl it. I think it's very important to get all bat links, whether that's guest posts, um, press releases, citations, all put into the indexer. So out of them tools, obviously, you, you've you used all three of them. Have you got any preference with Indexceptional, Giga Indexer, or Backlink Indexing tool? Yeah, so I, I, I tend to use Indexceptional because they've obviously got like the Chrome extension. It just makes it really easy to just index pages on the fly. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to quickly share my screen and obviously I'll share how... I index URLs on my own website. So if it's on your own website, you can obviously use tools like Google Search Console. You can pull up the URL and then just click request indexing. However, if it's like a, a profile page, like this is my uh, Wikipedia, uh, not Wikipedia, my IMDB page, this you can't obviously paste into your Google Search Console. So in this case, I would actually head over to Indexceptional, paste in the URL, Click on validate, it might take a couple seconds. It'll tell you if it's a status code 200, which basically means that they are able to, to index and crawl that URL. And then you can also select on the right hand side if you want, if, if you've got like a list of like URLs, you might select drip feed here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep this as normal. And then I'm just gonna place order. And this will basically um, get Google to actually come and crawl and index this page. And if there's obviously been any changes, like let's say if I was to add in like an image to this page of myself or maybe I changed my bio a little bit, I would obviously get try to get Google to always come back and recrawl that page as, mu as much as possible. Because again, you're also showing to, to Google that it's not just your website that's important, it's also your backlinks that are important as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of extra features that we've added into Indexceptional to try to make it the best indexer on the market. So in the actual order process, people don't realize that you can actually go into the orders and you can see which Googlebot IP has actually come and crawled the URL. If it's guaranteed for, index, uh, for indexing, so if it doesn't index for whatever reason, then you don't use any of your credits. You get a full refund on any URLs that don't get indexed but it shows what google bots come in crawling it takes five days and the reason why it takes five days for the order to complete is because we might be pinging it multiple times to try to get different google bots to come and crawl it to try and give you the best chances of getting it indexed in google SERP. yeah so that has been our video on how to index urls if you guys do have any questions feel free to drop them down below